What is going on guys? Today we are looking at team of the season, Lucas Leiva, the next player in the rankings. Obviously we will have done Watkins before as he is the new SBC. Lucas Leiva, obviously coming in the voted uh, team of the season, 88 rated, free star, free star. We packed him untradeable as well. The first player we've got untradeable from the selection. So obviously one that we do not want when it comes to the guaranteed team of the season, hopefully Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, maybe. I don't know when they're planning on doing it. Five foot ten, high medium, right footed. Realistically, only a four upgrade, I want to say, from his normal card. So nothing actually spectacular for him. Realistically, it's like a third or fourth in form for him, really. Um, so it's a big upgrade in terms of um, what he would have had to have got. But realistically, it's not a massive, massive upgrade for him. 74 acceleration, 70 sprint speed. I can see that being a major issue. I'm thinking an engine to start with, but to be honest, you could want to go maybe either shadow or um, something like a catalyst maybe. I probably would recommend shadow just to get that extra benefit. We are going to go with engine just because if we put a shadow on every single person, then obviously that is going to be a bit of an issue, but engine's going to be first. So we'll whack that on now. Because then we can have a look at the stats with an engine. We already know what a shadow would technically do. Um, so if it is what he needs, an untradeable version, I'll whack a shadow on him later on down the line when I have one um, available in the club. I didn't have one, did I? Oh, I do have one. Okay. Well, if he does need it, then we can obviously, we can go for that. That's not a problem. I didn't realize I actually had one. Otherwise, I probably would have just gone for that. Um, in terms of engine, you would get a 5+, plus, so obviously it'd end up with 79 acceleration with 75 sprint speed. I think a shadow is probably going to be needed with that. But he's got great physicals uh, in terms of stamina, aggression, and jumping. Strength on 70, I still think he'll be a little bit better than that. Defensive, 88, 90 standing tackle, 86 uh, slide. With the 88 defensive awareness and 93 interceptions. He's got good agility and balance with 85, 89. I can take that. 95 composure, which is fantastic. 91 reactions, again, another nice one. Uh, passing at 19, 89. Have no complaints whatsoever. And he has a dive into tackles trait on. So not a bad card at all. I think it's mainly the, pa uh, the pace that's going to really put this card down. Other than that, maybe you could pick a fault at not having 4-star, four 4-star. Four star, or at least maybe 4-star weak foot. But apart from that, let's jump in. See how he plays and uh, get a verdict. Into Lucas. Oh, look at that. That's an exquisite ball right there. Into Lucas. Cross to Zidane. Can we find a little run? It's not who I was looking for. But we get it back over to Lucas again. Going to start again. Neymar. Ooh, whipped. Lucas, great tackle. Lucas keeping it into Watkins. Finds Neymar. Going to dink it across. Watkins hits the bar. Lucas. Oh, he doesn't manage to keep hold of that tackle. Oh, we've got a speed up lag. This is perfect for him. Lucas making that interception. Into Lucas. Going to make that fake shot. Into Neymar. Oh, it's not who I wanted. Lucas. Oh, he's doing beauty work. Doesn't get the pass off that he wanted. Does win it back and he manages to get the pass this time. Oh, but Messi. Just put it in there. Messi. Lucas with an interception. Lucas. Keeps it. Still keeps it. Ah, oh, I lost out to Petit. And there's the game. Lucas Lever. Solid. Absolutely solid. Very much like Casemiro, but a little bit slower. And the, the stats are not quite as impressive in terms of the whole round game, um, in terms of Lucas Leiva compared to Casemiro, in my opinion. Just off the first game, that is. Lucas out into Messi. It's kind of a bit of a botched pass. 
We've gone to him, though. Big ball over the top. It's not going to reach him, though. Can we get a bit of a Lucas? No, he's not going to intercept that one. Lucas, beautiful challenge. Manages to get it out to Watkins. Can Watkins get through? Oh, nearly stealing. Lucas does enough to dispossess Pogba. Lucas. Oh, nearly gets the second interception. Gets that enough to, to Kent. Back to him. Get the pass off. He does manage to get it to Kent. Lucas Lever again with the interception. Lucas. He keeps the ball very well. I just think he's just lacking that little bit of pace. Lucas. Oh, but you don't stop Kent like that, honestly. Lucas, honestly. Oh, he's, he's got he'd have been offside. Lucas, absolute rock, honestly. What did he actually do this game? Um, he didn't get a goal. Got an assist. No shots. 14 out of 18 passing. 9 out of 9 dribbles. No crosses. 2 out of 3 tackles. Honestly, cracking performance from him. If it, if it wasn't for his pace, he'd genuinely be a really nice card to use. So going into the overall review for Lucas Leiva. Honestly... A cheaper version of Casemiro, if, if I had to put it. Or Fernandinho. Person who I've not used, he's going to be next. Excuse the games again. We got so many people rage quitting again. Bron bronze teams, silver teams. Obviously, they were uh, trying to get their division down. So, just so happened that we played a few more games with him than we should have done. Um, like I said, I think the pace is a problem. Um, that would be the, the real solution to this card is just adding more pace. I think a shadow is definitely needed. In terms of his normal defensive ability, he was fine. Genuinely a really nice CDM. Um, like I said, he's very much like Casemiro. Um, how much is he? Because Casemiro is only about 150. Yeah, I did think that would be the case. He's going to be about 40k. So you kind of see the difference. I think it'd be well worth paying that little bit of difference. And even going Casemiro or even Fernandinho, if it if you wanted to have a team of the season, that is. Obviously, we are comparing a lot of the team of the seasons to each other more than anything. Obviously, as we go higher up, we're looking at icons in comparison. We'll be looking at like Hullet Vieira in terms of CDMs, stuff like that. Petit, Blanc. No, Blanc's a centre-back, I'm pretty sure, in his prime moment. But you get the gist. This card, I think, is not usable in foot champs. It's a good, it's a good team. Like in general, the Brazilian, uh, the Brazilian nationality, the Serie A of um, Serie A league, it's not a bad one. Untradeable for me, so I'm quite happy with him. He goes into my team, um, and it's it's a nice first owner. Bar from that, I would probably sell him if it, if it, in terms of tradableness, or even put him in into an SBC, just because he's not really going to be in many people's teams with his pace. But going into the overall review for him, then. I'm going to give him a 6. I think he's above average. He's an 88. He's good. He's okay. But I think that's as far as it goes. He's got great defensive uh, ability. Decent passing. Pace is the major thing with him. I think you could get away with kind of using him as a very deep role uh, DM. And do not push him up one bit. Then he could possibly work. But the agility turn inside of it. There's always going to be someone with better acceleration and agility that will just absolutely blitz past him. As long as you kind of keep him in that defensive role deep in there, you could use him. I just think there's plenty of more cards out there like Casemiro Fernandinho, Kante, who are not really too much more priced that you could get. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you